two technologies that you see here today are the MARS, which is a modular uh, arm robotic system, and then the Ferret, uh, which is another robotic system. Uh, both robots basically provide a capability a certain, uh, to provide surveillance, detection, and reconnaissance, that type of deal for, for our forces. They're meant to augment the Marines and not a replacement for our Marines on the ground. And uh, with the Ferret in particular, uh, its main mission when it's loaded up with the uh, technology, which we don't currently have on it, is to go into a building and basically start mapping out that entire building. And it has a level of autonomy where it can kind of go in and do that itself. It has a LiDAR capability, which is a system that can help map that building. And what it really does for our Marines is provide them a, uh, before having to go in the building, it provides them a map of what that interior of that building is going to look like. So which is really great for when they're doing mission planning or so forth, to be able to know what they're going to go walk into. The MARS is an arm system. What you see on board is a M240, it's a 762 machine gun, standard for what our guys carry. It's meant to augment the team. So they're going to go forth, the infantry patrol, and this robot will be with them. And uh, maybe the guys don't want to go, you know, maybe you don't want to send your Marines first in the door or they're down an alleyway. You know what? They can send the robot down. The robot can down, go down that alleyway or go in that doorway, see if there's a threat in there, and let the Marines know who will be controlling the system. And if they want to prosecute the system, that takes the human in the loot to be able to actually execute that. Um, I just want to emphasize that these technologies, uh, the, the Mars in particular, are a little bit older. We're working more advanced systems where there's the level of autonomy is already built in there where they can actually go. You just tell them where to go, maybe on a tablet, and they go out and execute the mission themselves and perform back so you don't have to actually control it the entire time. Uh, currently in this configuration we have here today, it's controlled via, uh, via a uh, controller uh, and uh, you can't really be more than 800 meters on a site with the uh, existing system. Anyone can control it. We, so these systems aren't designed to have someone that's super well trained in it. We wanted to make it as easy as possible so that it can be organically inserted in with a marine unit. So hopefully our goal is to be able to have a system that takes no, no more than a short amount of training uh, and say, hey, go out and execute this, and they can do it real easily. So they don't need an additional, you know, additional specialty, no additional extra MOS training, uh, just a few minutes of learning how to do it, and then they can actually go out and execute that mission.